Hello everyone, with it being October and Halloween coming up, I thought I would do something a little bit different in the spirit of the season. In this video, I'm going to be telling the story of the haunting and curse of Taira no Masakado. In keeping with the spirit of the season, this video is less history and more supernatural legend. I am planning to do a more informational biographical video on Masakado in the future. When I do, I will add a link in the description and add a card to the end of this video if I can. Now, I am not making any claims about the supernatural myself. I am simply sharing the story. Also, the capital at the time was officially named Heian Kyo, but in this video I used the more modern and familiar name Kyoto, although Heian Kyo would have been smaller than modern Kyoto. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. In the year 939, a series of events involving Taira no Masakado culminated with Masakado proclaiming himself Shinno, or New Emperor. This turned what was mostly a familial squabble localized in the east into full-out rebellion against the central government. The path to this point spanned several years of bloodshed. The central government in Kyoto, which had largely, albeit not completely, been hands off to this point, reacted to Masakado declaring himself the emperor of a new kingdom in the east by putting a bounty on his head. In 940, Masakado was killed in battle against his cousin, Taira no Sadamori, and Sadamori's allies. It is this part leading up to his death that I plan to cover more so in the future video. The tale of the haunting and curse of Masakado begins shortly after his death. Masakado's head was taken back to Kyoto as proof that the rebellious warrior was dead to claim rewards. The emperor put his head on public display as a warning. It was said that his eyes remained open and moving around, looking at the people who came to see it. People also claimed that the head itself would move and rotate on the display block and would groan as if it were looking for its body. This public display of his head, it would seem, was not enough though. The emperor also forbade Masakado from receiving a Buddhist funeral or memorial rites. In a common belief of the day, this could mean that he was condemned to spend eternity wandering with no hope of redemption or salvation. This was a punishment crueler and more torturous than any physical death. Driven by anger, it is said that Masakado's spirit became vengeful. His head flew from Kyoto back to the east. It landed in a small village then called Shibazaki, which would later be renamed Edo and eventually Tokyo. There, the locals built a kubizuka, a head mound, in the style of the old Kofun burial mounds, in which to bury his head. After that, locals then made offerings and annual rituals towards Masakado's spirit in order to keep it appeased. Local legend would maintain that not doing so had led to some negative results. However, it was not until the early 20th century that this came to national prominence. During the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923, the Ministry of Finance's building was burned down. In the aftermath, the Kubizuka was flattened and the Ministry's new building erected upon it. This, it would seem, angered Masakado greatly. Supposedly, 14 people within the Ministry, including the Vice Minister, died under unusual circumstances not too long after. The building was torn down, and a Shinto priest was brought in to purify the area and to cleanse it, and to appease Masakado's spirit. A monument was built in honor of Masakado. In 1940, a lightning strike burned down several buildings around the monument. With the land now cleared by the fire, a new monument was built on the spot where the Kubizuka had existed. During World War II, the area around the monument was severely damaged due to heavy bombing. However, the monument itself made it through the war unscathed. During the occupation, U.S. forces tried to bulldoze the area to create a parking lot. The story goes that the bulldozer mysteriously flipped and killed the driver. The occupation forces allowed the locals to rebuild the monument and continue to take care of it. To this day, the local community keep the area clean, place flowers, and offer prayers to Masakado's soul. Any building or renovation in the surrounding area must take into consideration no alterations to this monument. In 1984, Masakado was deified and became one of the three kami enshrined by nearby Kanda Shrine. The monument can be found near Otemachi Station in Chiyoda Ward, not too far from the Imperial Palace. It is, it is said that showing disrespect towards Masakado or the monument while nearby is something that you do at your own risk. As long as rituals and prayers are performed, his monument is kept maintained and cleaned, he is given flowers, and he is not disrespected, it is a belief that Masakado's spirit is at least content enough 
to allow the people around him to live their lives most of the time at least. Thank you so much for watching this kind of different video. I hope you enjoyed the story of the curse and haunting of Taito no Masakado. If so, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you have not already. Links to social media will be in the description. Until next time, take care.